Hi crafters, Karen here from Karen's Crafting Company. And in today's video, it's all about the Smash Our Stash 2023 challenge. I am a new team member on Beth's Smash Our Stash collaboration team and I'm super excited to be a part of it. Now, before showing you what I created, make sure to click on the hashtag to see all the collaborators videos and you'll find that hashtag in the title. For the month of January, our theme is scraps. Whether it be cardstock, pattern paper, fabric, vinyl, or whatever it is you have in your scrap bin. Now, as you see here, I have a folder of pattern paper scraps. And what I do is, is when I'm trying to make something with scraps, I take my folder and I take all the pieces out. And I sort them by shape and size and then I try to match some patterns or colors together to see what what goes together. Now this folder looks like I don't have much in there which is kind of true. I also have a, other, a basket that's full of both pattern papers and cardstock mixed together. So I have plenty of scraps to work through and I'm happy to use them up. So let's get started. So here I have uh, some cards that I made just using scraps. So everything you see here is from scraps except for the card bases. Now all the sketches I'm using are from Operation Write Home and they are my favorite sketches to use and I will share the download in my description box below where you can get every single sketch that they have. So here I'm starting with bonus sketch number 10 and I was able to make one card using this sketch. So again, just taking some strips of paper and you know, some, some I did cut down to size which left me with very minimal scraps from that. And then I brought in my cardstock, added my stamp, and that cute dragonfly was also in my stash. And I just thought I would add that for my embellishment. Moving on to sketch number 57, I was able to make five cards with this sketch. And, um, this was a fun sketch because uh, when you look at the, the rectangle on the right side of the sketch, I was trying to use up quite a bit of my wood grain paper that I had just in my, in my scrap folder. And I had, you know, some good sizes and I was lucky enough to be able to use that up on these four cards that you see. So, um, I used, you know, some floral pattern and then uh, some, there's, they're both floral patterns. The one on the right is more like rustic and it's got some butterflies on there. And then this one here, I really liked, I had a lot of gray and I, I thought, let's make a gray card. Just make it gray and let's see how it turns out. So I did just that and I thought it would look really cool on a black card base. So that's exactly what I did. And then on the inside, I added a white piece of cardstock for my message or my sentiment. And then on the bottom there, for the, where you see smile, that is washi tape. And again, that's in my stash and I pulled that out and I thought it would really go cute with the card. And again, the color gray, just sticking with that color theme. I really liked how these cards turned out. So again, there's that floral pattern that I was telling you about. So these two, I added uh, birthday sentiments to those cards. Uh, and then um, the wood grain for on these two sketches, they're, they're turned. Uh, so, and you'll see here where the, the, the planks, or if you will, are going vertical on here. And then on the other two cards are going horizontal. And then I had that gingham scrap and I just, punched out using my scallop border punch and then uh, added a cute hello sentiment with that cute fairy. I just thought it was really cute um, 
to add that and it, it just went really well with the, the papers there. And now moving on to sketch number 154. This is one of my all time favorite sketches, especially when it comes to scraps, because you, you could just, you could use so many different pieces of pattern paper to create these squares. And when you have a lot of scraps like I do, this sketch really does come in handy. So I had that really pretty pattern paper left over from a sheet load of cards that I created from Call Me Crafty Al. And instead of that circle, I added that really pretty three-dimensional butterfly as my focal point. And I really liked how the, the wings are three-dimensional. And then I used my Hero Arts You Are Wonderful sentiment stamp set. And the word wonderful actually comes in two different stamps. So you have one as just your regular word. And then if you look closely, um, inside there is like a design. And that was another stamp. So I just stamped that in over the, the base of the word wonderful. Moving on to sketch number 171. I made three cards using this sketch and you know I'm looking through my papers and oh here I'm just I'm realizing that I can't find the sketch so I'm I'm trying to find it so that you can see the see what it looks like. So as I was saying that the when I came across those Valentine pattern papers I thought oh let's make a Valentine's card. So those two papers are, it's actually one sheet of, it was double-sided paper. And I wanted to use both sides. And then I thought, well, let's bring in a piece of the Buffalo check. I think that would look really cute with it. And then I used my nested heart die set and cut out a heart. And then I added my Valentine sentiment. And I had those XO's um, embellishments in my stash and brought those out and just added it on that bottom layer. I thought that turned out really, really cute. And then these two cards here, pretty they're pretty much similar. The only difference is um, on this card, I used a floral um, embossing folder uh, for my card front. And then I have the, the pink papers with the uh, gold foil butterflies and dragonflies and the music notes and that circle was actually in my stash and it was um, embossed with a with the swirling embossing folder so I pulled that out and then I just added my hello stamp on there and then this one the same kind of thing uh, I had those foiled polka dots um, on that teal colored paper and you know, putting it with the music notes, and then that is the small dots embossing folder that I used, and I used the debossed side. I really liked how that looked with the polka dots. Here I have uh, three cards that I made using sketch number 223, and with this sketch, it was kind of cool because I was able to go in, I mean, I was looking for everything I had in my stash. And when I saw those, you know, little add-ons of, you know, on each, um, the top front, like the ribbon there that I have, I'm like, okay, I've got adhesive ribbon. I know I've got some. So I had those pieces just kind of laying around. I pulled them out and I thought, wow, those are, you know, it goes with the earth tone colors. And I like that there's different colored dots. It kind of, you know, brings out some, some more color with all of the earth tones that you see there. And then I had those pretty butterfly uh, ephemera stickers that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. And those are actually brand new. I, I did just buy those. So I dug into those and I used the three that were in that pack. And I really liked how the orange went with the uh, burlap and the other earth tone colors. And then on the inside, um, I have, uh, I layered, because I was using craft cardstock, I layered the inside with white cardstock for my message. And then I had some of that scraps with that rectangle strip. And I just added a fishtail. And then that orange and white strip on the bottom, again, is washi tape that I had in my stash. Now, 
I left the card blank, but that open space that you see there um, between the top layer and the bottom layer, I'm not sure if I should put a sentiment there or if I should just leave it blank and leave it as a blank card because some of the places I do donate my cards and some of the places do request uh, blank cards, but I feel like it's, I feel like it needs something. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and um, you know, just let me know what you think if I should put a sentiment there or if I should just leave it, leave it blank. Let me know your thoughts. Moving on to sketch number 225. Here I, you know, again, trying to use up some of that burlap uh, cardstock that I, or pattern paper that I had in my stash. And I was able to get through quite a bit of it um, with the cards that I made here. Uh, again, there's that really pretty floral butterfly paper, uh, pattern paper that I had. And I wanted to, I, I had plenty of gingham in my scraps too, and I really wanted to pull that out and put it with that pattern. I thought it would just look really pretty. So I was trying to find colors that were in that pattern paper. And I thought that turned out really, really cute. Now these I did purposely leave blank again, because I do donate cards. I do um, leave some blank at times. And now the last sketch here, I have uh, 226 and 227. I really like this one here with the blue roses. Um, I was able to use that brick uh, embossing folder. I had that in my scraps and it's on uh, shimmer, white shimmer. And then I had that like blue holographic cardstock. And if you look at it, if you can see it in the light, you can see some of the other colors pop in. I'm not sure if you can really see it on the camera. And then the floral pattern, there's a hint of pink streaks in there a little bit. So then I used um, my, I heat embossed my sentiment and added that to the front. And then I just added, I took a marker and I added a black border around uh, the, the base of the card. And then for sketch 227, pretty similar. I, you know, used my weaving uh, embossing folder for this. And I had, you know, again, I had, that was already a piece of, that was in my scraps. And I had that really pretty floral pattern that was left over from another project. And then of course I had that purple gingham and I thought it all just went really, really nice together. And then I used the same sentiment and I also heat embossed that with white embossing powder. Now with all these cards using, um, seven sketches, I was able to make 17 cards. And, uh, you know, that's just a, that's not even a dent in my scraps stash. So friends, this wraps up another video and I hope I've inspired you to use your scraps stash. Please give this video a thumbs up and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications. You'll always know when I post a new video. And stay tuned to the end and I will share with you the close-up pictures of my cards and you'll get a, a closer view of them. Until my next video, friends, I hope your day is a crafty day. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.